my feet smell like cinnamon toast crunch. Anybody got a foot fetish out there? <laughs> oh, my booty cheek hurts. Y'all gonna be sick of me. <laughs> I do this right here and it looks like I could take your bitch. I'll call you right back, I'm at the gym, I'm almost done. All right, bye. Solita, pues me pregunté ¿Qué pasa cuando me bailó? Cerquita, eso fue descomunal Dale, dale, tra, tra, tú sabes cómo es Cómo hacerlo más Hola and hello, welcome back to Time with Tally or welcome to Time with Tally if you've never been on my channel before. My name is Tally and I do lifestyle and fitness content with a little dash of beauty in there. Today I'm bringing y'all with me for my active rest day or recovery day, whatever you want to call it. So this video might be a little bit different for some of y'all that are used to seeing me get crazy up in here. And I've been really, really going at it the last couple of weeks before this bulk ends. So your girl's kind of feeling it right now. I'm feeling pretty sore. Today I was actually gonna record my cardio core and conditioning day with you guys, but my body was like, nah, <laughs> you gonna give me at least one more day. Give yourself at least like 72 hours in between, okay? Let your muscles heal up, girl. Or boy, I want everyone to be on my channel. I don't care who you are. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, y'all, so I didn't tell y'all before, but last week I hit eight plates on the leg press, and I don't know what I did. I don't know if I just put my head back too hard, strained something, I don't know what I did, but long story short, I think I might have herniated a disc in my neck. <laughs> because for a couple of days I couldn't tilt my head back without like crazy sharp pain like right in that area. I've been doing these neck exercises that have been super, super helpful. So if you think you did that, maybe these might help you. Just be careful. I would also say, avoid diagnosing yourself the way I do. <laughs> Don't trust WebMD. Hold on, hold on, do you guys see my back? You see that in the, in the mirror? That shit's huge. Can you see it, can you see it in there? <sighs> this cut is going to be life changing. Y'all gonna be sick of me, okay? Y'all ain't gonna even recognize me, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Cause this, if you guys are just new to this channel and you're just seeing me now and think this is just what I normally look like, this is me right before I start cutting. This is at the end of my bulk. And let me tell y'all, hold on, we gotta sit down for this. When I tell you guys that this is the heaviest I've been in a very, very, very long time, but like in the best way possible, I'm not kidding. I'll talk about it more in my upcoming video. My celebration of my bulk being over slash my goodbye party that's like, so bittersweet. I'll talk more about it, but I'm massive right now. <laughs> I can't wait for this cut, bro. I'd say the biggest thing about rest days is really making them what you need and also making them fun and enjoyable, like the things that you like. It helps you not get as burnt out in your journey. And I feel like it also keeps you motivated to kind of keep going with your workout, you know, program and your lifting program, whatever it is. These days are essential. So try to make them as fun and or tailored to you as possible. So there are things that you want to continue to do. I'm gonna just do some static stretches because I'm not gonna really get that active. I would definitely say dynamic stretches are more important for when you're going to be active. So those are stretches that you do where you continuously stay moving, but static stretches are just more so to relax and extend that muscle, stretch it out, and get it prepped for relaxation and recovery. That's personally what I feel like I do and it works best for me. Some people may do things differently, that's all. Everybody's rest day is gonna look different. Some people may be like going on hikes, some maybe like going on walks, some maybe like to do yoga or meditation or something like that, which that's beautiful, that's fine, whatever works for you. I feel like this day is definitely more centered towards reconnecting and being really in touch and centered with your body and just giving it what it needs at the moment, you know? Sometimes I feel like during the week I stretch before my workout's just enough to get into my workout and to be able to do it without, you know, causing injury. But I don't feel like I spend enough time stretching. You see what I'm saying? Like I stretch enough just to actually be able to do my workout, but not enough to just sit here and enjoy the feeling of the stretch, you know? My booty cheek hurts. Uh, Ouch, my neck. I'm just broken everywhere, including my heart. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't even know what I look like right now. I look like a sausage. <laughs> oh my God, this foam roller sucks, but it feels so good. <laughs> this foam roller has those like little like bumps in them. 
usually the bumps on your toys are, you know what? That's not what I meant. I mean, I'm gonna shut up now. I would say for me, I usually take like a little bit of everything in my recovery days. Like I do some stretching, articulating my joints, hip mobility stuff. Like this week specifically, I'm gonna target more so my shoulders and hips because those feel pretty tight. So I'll do a few little lightweight workouts with that. I'm also super mad I forgot my massage gun. I took it out the other day to use it and I forgot to put it in my gym bag. This is the one that everybody is so scared to do in the gym. I frankly don't care. Put me in a music video, 1990s r and I do this right here and it looks like I could take your bitch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. Somebody make my impulsive thoughts go away, please. I'm acting a fool. Oh, my neck. Oh no. Ooh, I wonder if I got it. I feel like what a lot of people don't tell you is that like, this actually is probably the most painful day in your workout program. At least for me it is. When all your muscles are sore and you have to like make yourself move them. I feel like the tin man that needs oil. I feel in here everything cracking. Oh, my neck is a little sore y'all, I'm not gonna lie. No more hair pulling for me. I can't stop staring at my arms. I'm just like checking myself out. Oh, this entire active rest day, most of it, you can probably implement at home. But there's a couple of things that I don't have at home that I kind of like. So that's why I come to the gym sometimes. But in the winter time, I always find a way to make it work. <laughs> So these are usually just for like your rotator cuff, which is feeling a little bit tight for me this week. So that's why I'm going to be doing this. It's really, really important to work on your hip mobility and open up your hips. It helps you achieve more depth, of course. Depth, I hope I said that right. Depth, <laughs> when you're doing your squats. And honestly, any leg movement, it's pretty important to have that. I think these are called windshield wipers. These little, I think they're called froggy stretches. Oh my God, they hurt terribly. They hurt so bad, but they also hurt so good. If you just like let yourself relax and get into it, it hurts even worse. <laughs> Ow! Oh, I'm done. I was attempting to find something to see if it would work out, but <laughs> I can't find, I can't find a kettlebell. I can't find um, a weight that would fit on this. I don't think a weight is gonna be what we get to do today. I usually probably put like 10 pounds, maybe five if I'm really, really sore. Long story short, I'll show you the movement. And I usually do like three sets of 10 with that. But I also will say to do these properly, your core has to be braced and kept in proper alignment the entire time. I also take off my shoes. <laughs> I know you can't see my beautiful face. I'm so sorry. As you can see, I kind of put it around my foot. Usually you can do this with a kettlebell as well. I usually do a 10 pound because that's the only one that'll fit around my foot. Find any bar or wall or whatever with a bench. You come to the edge of it. If you allow yourself to bend your knee a little bit, don't go past your toes with the one that's on the bench. You just brace that core, pick up your knees, keep your foot flat, your toes pointing towards you because obviously you're gonna feel slowly how that kettlebell would fall down if you were to extend and point your toes. Pick it up, 90 degree angle under that knee, bring it out, straighten out, and just repeat that motion. That's one rep. Trust me, you will feel it. <laughs> Three sets of 10 on those. My feet smell like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> Why do my feet smell like cereal? Like, I'm not mad. <laughs> Ooh, yummy. Anybody got a foot fetish out there? <laughs> I forgot that I started this thing to make sure it worked. <laughs> I just hit myself right in the middle of my nipple. <sighs> With the corner of this thing, oh. Nothing hurts worse than hitting yourself with something pointy in the middle of your nipple. I just... <sighs> I'm gonna pretend that didn't hurt. I'm gonna pretend I am a bad bitch. I'm trying to stop swearing, y'all. It's really hard. Anyways. Whew. Damn. Ah. Breathe it out, breathe it out, breathe it out. Okay. 
Wow, that hurt so bad. Okay, we're gonna go up in speed. These are crazy. Y'all ever see shirts, right? For women at least. You go to put them on and they already have like pre-selected areas for your breastuses. Well, this one looks like it fits, right? Do you think this is the line for the boobs? No. Do you see this line? That's where my boobs are supposed to go. No. <laughs> I usually like to end with some cardio, whether it's like the Stairmaster or, you know, just walking on the treadmill or maybe going for a hike or a walk around the beach. Some people like to run. The thing about active rest days and why a lot of people are like, oh, well, you should never be actually resting and doing nothing. I personally don't believe that. I take at least one, just one day out of the week where I do nothing physical at least, even though I'm still probably doing something physical like cleaning my house or running errands and things like that or going out dancing with my friends, whatever it is. That's still all considered technically active. If I'm not doing any of those things, I stay in my house and I do nothing for just one day a week. That doesn't eliminate any of your progress. <laughs> but then again, I'm also not like a pro athlete. So cardio, what it does is basically increases the workload on your heart and the demand on your heart, increases your pulse, increases the blood flow, circulation, and that what it does is delivers more oxygen and blood to those tissues that need recovery. Actually doing cardio on your rest days or your active rest days, active recovery days, whatever you want to call them, it enhances and speeds up that healing process for your tissues and your muscles, of course, which are also a tissue. <laughs> Now, in regards to eating, I will still maintain a high protein diet on the days that I'm having active rest days. But of course, you don't need as many carbs because you don't need that much energy if you're not, you know, going crazy with the weight weightlifting or working out. On those days, my eating will remain the same protein wise. Carbs, I can eat less. Do I? Do I my bulk? No, because I don't really care. <laughs> but everybody's different. Let's get it. Alrighty then, so that is my active rest slash recovery day. I'm feeling really, really good. My muscles are feeling smooth and wavy. I feel like I could, uh, uh, uh. you know what I'm saying? Moving fast. This is why I don't have a man. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for spending time with me. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Bye. Ella puso un casting para los que valoran. Si no es seguro, pues no se enamoran.